everyone and welcome to another edition of Queen Geek's Show Me How Tutorials. I'm your host Terry Lee aka Queen Geek. Now this week I want to focus on managing your photos using Apple's iPhoto. This program has a lot you can do with it but unless you really are organizing your photos it can seem overwhelming at times. So I'm just going to go over a few tips that may help you when you're working with your photos. I'm going to go to the very top, which is events and photos. Photos view is all your photos in your iPhoto library. They might not have a correct title, which means the default is an untitled event, an event meaning it was Labor Day weekend or it was a birthday party. You determine whatever you want to label the event or the occasion. What I've done just for demo purposes, I have imported a few photos purposely that don't have any events labeled on them as well as some of these are actually occurred on around the same time frame. For instance, you may go on vacation and your vacation may be a week. So you may want to incorporate or group all those pictures together. And that would be one event. So I have a couple here. Now notice I'm in my photos group and this one is unlabeled. And it gives me the dates that they were taken as well as the one down here that says Kensei. So I actually want to put them all together in one group. And if I look down at the bottom row, there really isn't anything down here that helps me do that. This is more for editing or for projects. But if I go up to my events view, I sort of get a high level view and it gives me dates or untitled names. And if you'll see, this one right now is the selected one, Kensei. But if I hold down my Command or Apple key and select this one and this one, this option now becomes available. And I actually want to merge them. Now, because I want to do it a couple of times, I'm just going to highlight this one and highlight this one. And then I'm going to just say merge. And it'll ask me, are you sure you want to move these into one event? Sure. And that's it. And so now if I double click this, I have all my pictures in one event. I can change their order. Actually, can I? Actually, no, I can't. I guess I, it doesn't really matter. They're just all in here by date and time. And now I want to merge these two. Again, I would highlight this one, hold down my Command or Apple key. It's usually right next to the space bar. And then I want to hold down this one. And I'm still holding my Apple key down. And I type, I select Merge. And that's it. So I can now, if I want to, say on this one, I can give this event a title. This was in Sedona. Let's say July 2008. And this was now the Kensei. Let's say I want this picture, the second picture, to always be the picture when I open up iPhoto to be what they call their key photo right mouse click on this one and I know not everybody has the right mouse option depending on what kind of mouse you have but if you hold your control key down and hit your mouse button one time you'll get the option down here that says make key photo only thing that does is when I'm at my events this picture is the default picture that will be on the front of that event. So I want to change a different one in this one. Let's see. 
uh, hard to pick, but I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to make it the key photo. So now it's the default. If I scroll my mouse from left to right, it'll just go through all the photos in the event. Let's say, you know, this really wasn't such a great picture. I, I like it, but it's kind of dark. I can delete it or I can just hide it. And so when I go into this event, only the really good pictures or whatever I choose to show will be visible. Now, I haven't gotten rid of it. I've just hidden it and it'll always give you a count of how many pictures you have hidden in that in this particular event. You can flag them setting it apart from your other photos that maybe you want to do something with it later on. And it creates a little flag right here. Another option you can do is create photo albums. The Even though they're on the computer, they're just the same as your printed photo albums. So you can organize your pictures however you want. They can be from different events. I could take a picture from here and drag it over into my demo album. And I can do whatever I want with it. This is, I prefer to use this method of creating my album and then from there at the bottom I would either make a calendar from it or a card or some kind of photo book and there's so many options that you can do I'm not even going to get into what you can do but I will just go through that it, it's pretty easy drag and drop but the easiest thing I would say is create your album first Another option you can do, and my dad did this not that long ago, he actually took some pictures, he got a new camera, but the date and time was wrong on it. I can say edit, select all, that's the easiest way to do it. And now I want to adjust the date and time on these pictures. Now I'm not going to change them here, but you can see I can modify the original files in case they were incorrect. That's a really nice feature because sometimes, or the battery could have gone bad in the camera and the date just never got reset properly. Here's where I save the flag photos if you wanted to sort of set them apart. You can create an event from flag photos. If you, this is my album view. This is not the original picture. So if I delete this, I am not deleting it from my computer and I'm not deleting it from my iPhoto library. In fact, if I go back to photos and scroll up, it's still here. What I did is I just deleted it from my album. The same as if you just took a picture out of an album. If you want to get rid of a picture for good, you would actually hit the delete key and you'll I should see that it looks like a little thing is in my trash here and I can empty it and then the picture is truly gone well I actually don't want to get rid of it right now so I want to move it back to my back to my event for some Sedona so that's about it for this week's tutorial for organizing your photos in iPhoto. Check out our website, queengeek.me, for more information. Thanks, and have a good week.